Yo, what is up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Mobilite. Welcome back to another video. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can trade with rare silvers and the benefit of investing in rare silvers. So if you do enjoy this video, feel free to smack the like button, subscribe if you're new. And if you've been here before, this is an I told you so. So this is proof that this method works. So earlier in the week, we were picking up a bunch of rare silvers for 250 coins. If you go back on my channel, we had trading tip videos where I told you guys to pick up a bunch of defenders, midfielders, attackers, essentially every player possible for 250 because we would have an SBC at some point that would cause the rare market to go up. A lot of you guys did it, but a lot of you also didn't understand how that would happen. So let me kind of explain to you how this happened, and then I'll show you a trading tip you can do to it if you are late. But when these prices do go back down, this is kind of my plea to you guys. If you want to make this amount of coins, yes, you can make it trading, but you're not going to get anywhere near the sheer amount of coins you possibly might get from having these in your club ready to go for this. So we have an underdog SBC. It's going to be here for three days, which means rare silvers, rare bronzes will probably hold a decent amount of value until then. Not everything will. You'll see some nations will be better, some leagues. But essentially, you have players from the same league, max of five, players from one club, minimum of three, gold players, minimum of two, but you need 11 rares. Every single player has to be a rare, 70 rating quality, um, and then chemistry needs to be 80. So a lot of the same nation you're going to be seeing, a lot of the same league, a lot of people in these direct positions. So any left backs, right backs, center backs, goalkeepers, CDM, CM, strikers, left mids, right mids, those are going to be the most profitable positions for you guys. So we've been selling on a lot of things for a thousand plus earlier. Now we're selling it in the 800 to 900 range, as you see right here. I'm going to show you a way you can start picking these up right now if you want to trade with them, but also too, when prices drop, this will be an investment tip as well. So you want to do a full scale look at the market, get an idea of what things are going for. I had a filter set right there, but if we went to 400 by now, you're going to see that certain cards will take the whole hour to sell but others, you will have more luck. So if we go to defenders, you will see that every card will sell within the hour for 400 coins if it's a defender, if not within a couple of minutes. So if we go to 450, we can check this again too. Everything sells within the hour. It looks like this guy is the hardest to sell within the hour, but everything else you're good. So off of that, I would set a max price of 250 to bid and a minimum buy now of let's say a thousand coins. That way we can get out a lot of the low end ones. We're essentially going to compare price before we bid. If you don't have cards in your club currently, you're going to see if it's a good deal. So bid 300 if you want, or whatever you think would be a good profit. If we look at this guy, he will sell for 900 coins within the hour. If you think 300 coins is a good price for him, pick him up. Same thing with this guy, compare price. See that he'll go for 800 within the hour. If you think that's a good price, pick him up. And essentially you're going to mass bid on these cards for 250, 300. If you want to bid more than that, good you can go for it but i would keep in uh, perspective that these card prices will probably slowly go down throughout the week so if you're trying to squeeze out profit it might be best to try to pick these up for cheaper i know there's times on the market where there might be rare silvers in packs uh, whether that's a shared pack for a promo pack where it might be six rare golds and six rare silvers or people might be spamming the silver packs which will make a different video on the silver pack method it's been absolutely insane um, it's been going crazy for us, so I'll show you guys how you can make profit opening 3.75k packs. But yeah, also rares for bronzes work for this too. It's going to be harder to get that rating of 70 uh, for the SBC, but this has also caused the bronze market to go up. Again, not for every card, but for a lot of cards. So if we go to 600 coins, you'll see that a lot of cards will go for, looks like about 300 to 350 within the hour. Obviously not everything does, but we can do a kind of a similar filter here where instead of 250, you can bid 150 on bronze rares and we'll do a minimum buy now again of like a thousand. That way we can get out a lot of the lower end cards. You essentially just look, compare price. This one, if we can get a 200 bid and sell it for a thousand, that looks like it'd be a really good deal. So put the bid on. If you want to bid more again, you can. If you want to bid less, feel free to do that. A lot of these you'll still be able to pick up for 150. So if you want to mass bid 150 on everything, you could. Um, but yeah, always check the buy now price if you're uncertain of whether or not something will sell. And if you guys can, again, when these prices go down, remember, store them in your club and sell duplicates. You'll thank me later. We've made so many coins today and we have still so many to sell on. We are so excited to do this again. I hope this shows you that the grind, the motivation in terms of the time or the effort you put into bidding, even though you might not know what the outcome is. I can tell you right now, there will be a positive outcome. If you're bidding 250 on silver rares, they cannot physically get lower than that. And there's always going to be some sort of SBC at some point 
that will cause these to go up. Another thing, once Icon SBCs get released down the line, you're going to see a lot of these cards be used in SBCs for Icons because an Icons requires a full Bronze Rare team and a full Silver Rare team. So there will be value in these. It's important to have them when they're at the lowest point. Save up the Bronze Rares. If you see Bronze Rares getting low, pick them up for 150 coins, throw them in your club. Even if you have to sell the duplicates on for 200 coins, you're still making a profit, even though it doesn't seem like much. You're going to get infinitely more coins on later when you sell what's in your club. So this is my plea to you. Keep doing it. Keep grinding. It's worth it. We're going to be making so many coins. And I can't wait to reinvest back into more of these when they go down. And yeah, we're going to do some high-end investing, hopefully make some high-end trading tutorials as well as I learn that because I'm not an expert at those, but I'm slowly starting to learn those markets as well. So thank you for watching. I'll catch you next time. It's been a boy, Mumbley. I'm out. God bless.